The DIY water cooling system consists of an Arduino controller, uh, an NPN th transistor, a 5 kilo ohm potentiometer, um, two thermistors, one room temperature, and one for the proper cooling, as well as the 12 volt DC pump and the 12 volt DC power source, which you can see plugged in over there. The NPN transistor works by receiving a high input to the base, which allows for voltage to flow from the collector to the emitter, essentially turning the pump on. Uh, receiving a low input will not allow for that flow and will keep the pump turned off. The Arduino intakes the room temperature, system temperature, and potentiometer input. The room temperature is set as the midpoint of the graph where the potentiometer is used to control the range of the green rectangle, which is the acceptable limit. As can be seen, when this potentiometer is changed, that range changes with it. If the system temperature, which is the yellow line, is to ever cross over into the overheating section up top, the pump will turn on in order to cool off the system. If it were to cross over into the freezing temperature down below, the pump would turn off to allow for the system to heat back up, and if it remains within the operational limit, the pump will remain off to allow the system to reach equilibrium and hopefully stay there. Um, now I'm going to show you what happens when it's heated up and cooled off, and I will speed that up for time's sake. <laughs> Oh, I use the side of the room. Yes.